the truth is one so doctors have devised a test for leptospirosis uh, that has the following property for any person suffering from lepto there is a 90 percent chance of the test returning positive for a person not suffering from lepto there is an 80 percent of chance of the test turning negative if you have lepto there's a good chance the test will say you have lepto if you don't have lepto there's a good chance the test will say you, are, you do not have lepto it is known that 10 percent of people who go for testing have lepto the person who gets tested gets a positive result for lepto as in the result says the person has got lepto what is the probability that he or she actually has lepto like saying look i go get tested for some disease the results say that i've got this disease there is still a probability involved that i actually have the disease it could be a false positive the question says how good is the test that's what we need to evaluate if the test says positive or what is the chance that the result is actually the person actually has lepto this is a wonderful question it's a fabulous question this is a question that can be modeled in many ways i'm going to draw a simple tree structure and then build from there 10 percent of the population has lepto 90 percent does not have lepto but the overall population 10 percent has lepto 90 percent does not have lepto they have lepto they do not have lepto. now they test if this group test someone who has lepto there's a 90 percent chance that the result will turn out to be positive the result will say yes she has lepto the person does not have lepto there's an 80 percent chance that will say the person does not have lepto. seems like a good result now the person does not have if the person has lepto there's a 10 percent chance the result will be negative and the person does not have lepto there's a 20 percent chance the result will turn out to be positive right now we have drawn this grid it's a very simple grid okay? has lepto result positive negative does not have lepto result positive negative you want to find the probabilities of a person having lepto and the result being positive so nothing but this into this it's called the idea of conditional probability 0.9 into 0.1 this 0.1 into 0.9 which is 0 0.09 a person having lepto with the result being negative is 0.1 into 0.1 which is 0 0.01 does not have lepto with the result being positive 0 0.9 into 0 0.2 which is 0 0.18 does not have lepto and the result says it does not have lepto 0.9 into 0.8 which is 47. The first thing to notice here is that the last four sets have captured everything possible therefore these four should add up to 1. They do. 0 0.09 plus 0 0.01 is 0 0.1 which is what is this number. 0.18 plus 0.72 is 0 0.9 which is this number. These two added yes is 1. Now what is the probability that the result will be positive? That is easy to find. 0 0.1 into 0 0.9, this number. 0 0.9 into 0 0.2, this number. 0 0.09 plus 0 0.18. That is not what the question asks us. Keep that in mind. We are not saying what is the probability that the result will be positive. Right? I am going to come back to the question after just capturing this data. The question says, given that the result is positive, what is the chance that a person does have lepto? The result is positive. Now, the result could be positive through this or through this. A person may have lepto and the result is positive, or does not have lepto and the result is positive. The result is positive, that much I know. Given that the result is positive, what is the probability that the person does have lepto? What does that mean? I am anyway here. My denominator, my superset is just this. 0.9 plus 0.18, nothing more than that. I have the result says it is positive. The, the test says the person has lepto. Now, what is the chance that the person does have lepto? What is the chance that you would have reached this end point through this route that you do have lepto? So, out of 0.9 plus 0.18, what's that? 0.09 plus 0.18, what is the probability that you have taken this route, the route which is 0.09? Is 0 0.09 by 0 0.09 plus 0 0.18, which is 0 0.09 by 0 0.27, which is one third. Very important result. The result based on conditional probability and an idea called as Bayes' theorem. Right? What this tells us: if a person gets tested for lepto and the test says positive, the test the person has lepto, there is only a one and third chance that the person does have lepto. 
It's a very important idea. It looks like the test is brilliant. If you have Lepto, there's a 90% chance that it will say you have Lepto. If you don't have Lepto, there's an 80% chance that it will say you don't have Lepto. So both numbers look high enough. However, the proof, the most critical question that you have to ask is if the result says you have Lepto, what is the chance that you end up having Lepto? That you have actually had Lepto. That is only 1 in 3. So if this kind of test just cannot be there, taken as a serious test. This looks like a great test, 90% and 80%, high numbers. But the relevant probability is just one third. And so imagine if, I, if, if getting treated for Lepto, when you don't have Lepto, if that has a big cost, this is a silly test to have. Two thirds of patients will take medicines for Lepto when they don't have it. God knows what that will cost. And so even though the 90% and 80% numbers look very high, they're not good enough. Because the final relevant probability that is given that you have you have tested positive, what is the probability that you have Lepto? That is only one third. Right? This is why a lot of pharmacists and the psychologists, psychiatrists, doctors are, are asked to study probability statistics because this kind of number, this number is very, 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 very important in a real life scenario. Because very often you will not be told that given you have Lepto, what is the probability of finding, getting the test result positive? That's not a relevant number. As a doctor, you'll see the result. And if, you, if the test says you have Lepto, then there should be more than 95% chance that you actually have Lepto. Otherwise, the risk of giving wrong medication is very high. Right? Wonderful question based on an idea called as Bayes theorem. But don't really go to town learning about Bayes theorem. It's unlikely that you'll get a question from Bayes theorem. And Bayes theorem A given B dash B dash given A, A dash given B. In most textbooks, they just model up Bayes theorem. If you get this, if you understand this question, you can tell yourself you're ready for Bayes theorem in a competitive exam scenario. It will, your exam question will not be further than this. Keep it on.